Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Philip. I'm 22 years old and I live alone in Seattle working as a full-time software engineer at Amazon. And today I wanted to give you all a tour of my desk setup that many of you guys have been requesting. I'll first walk you through all the main components and show you guys how I optimize the space for both work and leisure. So starting off with my actual desk, we have the FlexiSpot E5 standing desk in white and it's 55 by 28 inches long. It's simple, clean, and effective. It does what it's supposed to do. It has four presets, but I generally just use the ones I set for standing and sitting so I can switch between the two with the press of a button. It's helpful for when I'm doing stretches for my recovering broken ankle and watching YouTube at the same time, or when I just need to stand. I try to use it to stand as much as possible, but to be honest, I would much rather just sit in my steel case lead B2. I got this chair for pretty cheap, refurbished off of Facebook Marketplace for 250 It is the same ones that we have at the Amazon offices. I really just sit on this thing all day and I can tell you that it provides amazing ergonomic support and is the most comfortable desk chair I've ever had. It's perfect for when I'm locking in or reclining all the way back and relaxing. The only downside I can think of is that I wish it had a headrest, but at the discount I got it for, I can't really complain. Moving on to my actual PC, it is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D CPU and an Asus Dual OC 4070 graphics card housed in a Lian Li A4H20 Mini ITX case. The reason I went with a Mini ITX was because I wanted something small and portable as I knew I was going to be transporting it a lot. It could literally fit in my backpack but is the fastest PC I've ever owned and handles any task like gaming, loading, and editing. With ease. I will link the full part list in the description below if you guys are interested in what else I managed to squeeze inside this case. Next to my PC is my work laptop which is a Space Black 2023 16 inch MacBook Pro with an M3 Pro chip. I have no idea why they gave me such an overkill laptop but hey I'm not complaining. It is sitting on a simple laptop stand from Ikea and under it is where I keep my iPad which I haven't really touched since school so now I generally just use it to watch Netflix. Next are my monitors. For my main one, I'm using a Gigabyte M27QX. I wanted a budget-friendly monitor that was at least 240Hz and 27 inches. What really sold me about this monitor was the built-in KVM switch. The KVM switch allows me to switch the display between my computer and my work laptop with just a single button press. This makes it especially convenient for when I want to work at home using a bigger display with my keyboard and mouse by just simply connecting my work laptop with a USB-C cable and then easily switching back to my main computer whenever I need to take a break. For my secondary display, I have an LG 24GN600B, which is a gear gaming monitor. It is 144Hz and 24 inches. There's nothing really special here, I just have it set as a vertical display to save on desk space and keep stuff on the side such as Discord or Spotify. Both of these monitors are being held up by the Huano dual monitor arm. I've been getting a lot of comments about my keyboard asking me what it is. Well, here I am finally revealing it to you guys. Like most software engineers, I was really into building keyboards at one point. I think it was around pandemic when I first started, but it is a very expensive hobby. But for this build specifically, I'm running a Zoom 65 R2 in E white, and it's built using lubed and filmed Prevail Epsilon linear switches with Osume Yamacha keycaps on top. It also has a polycarbonate plate and lube C3 stabilizers. The keyboard can also be used wirelessly via Bluetooth, but I personally choose to connect it with a custom white coiled cable. The sound is very deep and thocky and typing on it is just so satisfying. Here's a little type test. For my mouse, I'm using the Razer Viper V3 Pro Wireless. It's incredibly light at just 55 grams and I've got it on a Razer Gigantis V2 XXL mouse pad. For audio, it's nothing too fancy. I like to keep it light with just a pair of plain wired Apple earbuds. 
I prefer it over using headphones personally because I don't know if it's just me but my ears get really hot when wearing them for a long period of time or when I'm just playing games. These are perfect for me as I'm not a big fan of the earbuds that stick inside your ear canal either. They are simple, cheap and provide good enough sound quality for the everyday tasks that I do on my computer. For my mic setup, I'm using the Fifine AM8T microphone in white, which is actually the mic I'm using to record right now. I got the kit which comes with the arm mount and you can mute it or change the RGB colors just by simply tapping on the mic itself. Finally, for cable management, I've got an under desk cable tray that stores the majority of my wires and plugs tied together with velcro straps. I also have some white cable sleeves and magnetic cable clips to keep everything nice and tidy above the desk. I did a tailboard job but trust me it would look a lot worse without them and from the front it looks acceptable. Besides the fact that I have my ethernet cable traveling across the map to connect to my router. On the side here I got this pegboard from Ikea. I think it's a pretty nice addition to storing a bunch of miscellaneous items such as my keys and wallet and it also serves as a little spot to decorate my desk with these little green guys. And that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about specific parts or want to know more details about anything in particular. You can also find each item I mentioned in the video linked in the description below. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.